As the school year gets underway, one thing students across the state don't have to worry about is getting a good breakfast and lunch. Massachusetts stepped in to continue funding free school meals after the pandemic programs ended. And families are taking advantage of it. Consumer investigative reporter Leslie Gatiss is here with more on how that program works. Leslie. The state made universal free school meals permanent with the legislature and a combination of state and federal funding. The governor's office recently released its latest data on the state's healthy school meals for all policy. And it shows major increases in student participation compared to the 2018-2019 school year. For the 2022-23 school year, 12.2 million more lunches were served and 61,500 more students ate lunch every school day. Nine million more breakfasts were served and more than 43,000 more students ate breakfast every school day. The director of the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education Office for Food and Nutrition Program says it has been a huge success. As a parent myself, I know for a fact that students will not eat a lunch uh, unless it is something desirable and something that they want to eat. So the fact that over 60,000 more kids are eating school lunch, it certainly can be attributed to the, the fact that meals are no free or are free of charge to families, which is alleviating additional costs uh, and burden for many families. But also that something must be going right in school cafeterias in terms of students continuing to come back to participate in lunch and breakfast. Lots of great food offerings. Leshen says the additional funding provided by the state legislature for the free meals program has allowed schools to purchase more locally sourced ingredients. So that money is going back into the state agricultural system, local farms, and to local fishermen. There is no sign up for this program. It's free to all students. Kids just show up and eat. Leslie Gatiss, NBC10 Boston.